Hey everyone, it's Colbert here with another Ray Challenge videos. Guys, today we're in my Cold Brew Alt account and we're gonna do a War Maiden guide. And uh, the reason I'm gonna do a War Maiden guide on my account is because uh, on this account, because War Maiden here is fully maxed out. He does, she does have 16 uh, level 16 gear on every single piece she wears. Uh, the reason being, I want her crit as much crit rate as possible to get that 100% chance to crit, and of course, critical damage if possible. <laughs> Yeah, get that maximum amount. Accuracy, I try to get as max as possible, but I do not have a good banner. I'm gonna get it eventually. So her stats, guys, are 23,000 health, uh, 2.6k attack, speed at 186, that's very good. That's quite fast, to be honest, for a free-to-play account. 99% critical rate and 116 critical damage. Accuracy at 122. Uh, her skills are fully maxed out because you can farm War Maiden from the campaign, I'll show you right here if you don't know already. So, uh, War Maiden can be farmed from the Deadlands, guys. She can also, uh, you can also farm uh, Berserker here, uh, who I do have at level 60, but War Maiden drops here. And if you get copies of her, you can max out your skills uh, through that. Um, there's also some other, right? let's look at her skills. Ferocious attack, uh, level 6, attacks one enemy has a 30% chance of placing a 2.5% poison debuff for one turn. That's very good. She's really helpful. Applies a poison on her basic. Even it, even being a 2.5%, that's great because you can use it both in the clan boss and the dungeons. Poisons are your the bread and butter in this game in terms of dungeon killing uh, and clan boss killing, clan boss killing especially. Uh, opportunity strike, so attacks one enemy. Places a 50% attack, uh, increased attack buff on this champion and places an extra hit. If this attack is critical, the extra hit cannot be critical. It's fine, but still, this does a lot of damage uh, most of the times. Attacks all enemies, 75% chance, 100% chance if this is fully maxed. So imagine that, guys. We have a rare champion that's farmable. You can max her out uh, easily through farming the campaign. And there's a 100% chance to apply a 60% decrease defense debuff for two turns. This is the best version of a decrease defense debuff you can have in the game. Uh, and it's a formidable champion, 100% chance to apply it, and only three turns cooldown. This is great, guys. This is like SS tier version of a uh, of a debuff. So um, this is the reason where I think War Maiden is such an amazing champion. Uh, masteries, uh, look at all those masteries, guys. I do have War Master on her. The reason being, I also use her uh, in the dungeons and the clan boss, not only the arena. So I'm gonna showcase all three of those, and you're gonna see how these masteries affect her. So War Master, of course, because her A1 is a one-hit attack, she does not have a three-hit attack to get that Giant Slayer. And we do have Kill Streak for the extra bit of damage when you do get kills. Uh, also, Methodical, it's always good for that A1 attack. Just increase uh, a little bit of, of her damage. Bring it down, increases damage inflicted by 6% when attacking targets with higher HP and critical damage, critical rate. The basic, basic masteries here, guys. And of course, support tree, I went full accuracy, accuracy here and accuracy here. This is the best way to use uh, on War Maiden and get her uh, as much ac accuracy benefit as possible through the masteries. 30% chance of increasing the turn return by 10% when a debuff cast by this champion is removed or expire. She does apply a lot of debuffs both from her A1 and her A3. So this is a good uh, mastery to get. And of course, cycle of magic, extra bit of chance. To reduce her cooldowns it's always good it's rng but still you could you can go for evil eye if you want to but uh i didn't want to uh for her lore of steel because i do use accuracy sets and other sets that do benefit from this if you don't use sets that do benefit from this for example the lifesteal set then this can be skipped of course and master hexer this is always great for debuffer champions debuffer champions are those who that apply a debuff so war maiden applies a debuff the decreased defense debuff, so get it. 30% chance to extend it, it's it's great, it's great. I do have three pieces of accuracy here, and I think the reason being uh, because of the critical rate gloves I did find, those are really good. Uh, I could choose to put uh, something else for my boots, um, but you know, critical rate, attack percentage, critical damage from boots, uh, having speed, that's, it's really hard to replace this, and I also need a lot of speed. With these stats, I'm gonna show you uh, what I do with my free to play account, the cold brew alt right on the top. So guys, now I'm gonna showcase uh, War Maiden in the arena. This is a totally free to play team. Hakatoon, War Maiden, Spirit Host, Kill. Totally farmable champions, everyone has them. Everyone should have them by day 30 of playing this game. So 
for me then applies that debuff and there we go kill just clears decrease defense always good so um i'm just gonna do a few more attacks if you guys want to see the full video there's a, a it's in my channel guys just search for the free to play uh, team look at this guys just clearing bolt one you can actually uh, farm a lot of uh, arena points here arena medals so if you do have this kind of team check it out uh, you don't even need um spirit host i do use her she's not needed though but look at that removes debuff she's a good alternative to berserker but berserker does give that uh, extra benefit of the extra bit of damage throughout the fight So there we go in terms of arena. Uh, now guys, I'm gonna show you her in the Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair is the, the best place to farm gear, guys. I'm not gonna show you stage 14 because she's gonna be weak there. I'm gonna show you stage 13 and how she can help you clear stage 13. So I'm basically uh, still gonna use farmable champions. Here I'm gonna use, I don't know, uh, Spirit Host, Berserk. So this is my team, okay. Spirit Host, uh, Berserker, Hikatoon, Kale and uh, War Maiden here. I'm gonna see how fast I can clear stage 13 of the dragon. Stage 13 of the dragon gives you up to six star gear. When you are at that level and you can farm six star gear, guys, it's basically a road to the end game. That's it. Once you start getting the gear and you're gonna get it eventually, uh, I mean, it's there, the chance is there. It's just much lower than farming stage 20. Once you get a bit of a six star gear to your arsenal, to your main heroes, then you can progress through, get stage 14, 15. You're not gonna use the champions that I do have here. You're gonna use champions that you might be lucky enough to get some uh, other rares, other uh, epics, maybe a legendary. When you use those, then you'll be able to clear <laughs> and do uh, much higher levels of the dungeon, get much better gear and progress through to the mid game, to the end game. Actually consider Dra Dragon 13, the road to the mid game, that's it. Once you do uh, Dragon 13, that's it. You're at the mid game, I think. This is my, my, uh, my thoughts. So Dragon gives you accuracy, uh, lifesteal speed, plus other sets, but those three are the main ones that you need to clear the clan boss and everywhere else. So um, guys, look at this. You, if you've been watching also, uh, you know, the Dragon fight, <laughs> My team is at 1 minute 20 and look at the dragon, he's dead and my team is very healthy. Every single one of them is um, free to play, farmable champions and you can clear the dragon 13. War Maiden is there for that decreased defense. Let's go again and I'll show you exactly why without the extra commentage. So look at the AOE, look at Kale now, look at all those crits guys. And we just need two more turns for uh, my War Maiden to reset her AOE defense and then we'll be ready. So one more turn. The next turn, uh, my, my War Maiden goes, she'll apply the decreased defense. But Berserker is getting in the way, there you go, and she actually clears the wave. So we did it even faster than guys now, 35 seconds to reach the boss. Uh, and now War Maiden is trying to do her skills. There we go, decrease defense. Once that's on the boss, then it's so much easier to do damage. Opportune strike, a nice crit there for 20,000. And on the boss's turn, because of all the poisons from both Kale and War Maiden, he's basically, yeah, look at that, 15% health. And it's basically over, guys. There we go. 1 minute 19, very good time. So this is my, my team doing the Dragon's Lair. And for the next part, guys, I showed you the dungeons. I showed you the, the clan boss. I'm also going to show, no, I didn't show you the clan boss. So I'm going to show you the clan boss here. Uh, I'm going to go for hard. I'm um, gonna still not gonna use apothecary here. I do have apothecary, but I'm not gonna use him for this showcase. I'm gonna use spirit hose again for that extra bit of uh, attack from their buff and the um, and the 
uh, plans she provides. So we're here in the clan boss right now. It's a hard clan boss, void affinity. It's all on auto. I'm not going to do this on manual. You can do if you want to, guys. But look at my team, guys. Uh, it's just a basic team. No, uh, no epics that cannot be farmed. No legendaries here. Uh, we're just using the power of War Maiden, Berserker, Kale, uh, High Cartoon, and uh, Spirit Host. There's other champions you can use, but I'm using these five just to showcase how strong they can be and how fast you can actually kill the, the clan boss and how much damage you can do with this kind of setup. So, this is much harder uh, when you don't have a healer. So, you're really just re relying on your team, on your lifesteal sets. I don't have a lifesteal set on my War Maiden. So, um, yeah, she's going to die really fast. But the thing is, she is going to uh, do a lot of damage. The only one that is going to be left standing, I think, uh, by the end, it's going to be my kill. He has a lifesteal set and he also uh, does a lot of damage through his poison. So he's going to be the main damage dealer. He's even used in Ultra Nightmare uh, Clan Boss team. So think of that, guys. And... There we go. This is going to be a very fast run for the clan boss because next turn he's going to kill War Maiden. War Maiden does not have lifesteal because I do use her for the arena. I want her fast. I don't want her with lifesteal set. So there we go. She's dead at 1 minute 42. But I do think she did uh, quite a bit of damage because of War Master. And... There we go. We, we get that... Extra bit of damage with the increased attack buff. Block debuffs from Spirit Host. Does give a good buff to both Berserker and Kill. Okay, last two standing here. We're at two minutes. It's not bad. Two minutes for uh, the, the hard boss here. And it's going to be kill versus the ball. Yeah, he's dead. 222, 5.5 million damage, guys. Uh, it's very good run. 808,000 damage from War Maiden. And she didn't even last as long as Berserker uh, or Spirit Host. So if I did have Lifesteal Gear on her, she would do way more damage than that. 3.3 million from kill. Guys, kill is just uh, the best one you can actually have. So 5.5 from one key and the, the hard... Uh, the hard clan boss only needs 11.6. So if I did have a lifesteal gear set, only two keys, I would get the full guardian chest. So full amount of rewards just uh, just by using this kind of setup, using War Maiden, High Cartoon, Spirit Host, and Berserker. So guys, do take advantage of that. And, and you'll definitely be able to carry through from the early game to the mid game. And then go Brutal, Nightmare, and of course Ultra Nightmare, which is the ultra end game. So... Um, I can also show you how you can um, use War Maiden to just clear through the uh, campaign really fast. But look at that, guys. I'm just going to use these two. These are the very basic team uh, that you can have. It's going to be Kale and uh, War Maiden. War Maiden is going to apply the AoE defense. You almost clear the waves, actually. So he's going to be helping Kale here to clear. Such a good combo to have. Defense down. She always needs to go first. If you don't uh, make her go first, then you're not going to have this kind of uh, setup. So. It's not bad, but <laughs> I do clear it much faster when I do have my kill alone. So War Maiden and Kill. Very good combo to have and clear the campaign. So guys, this was my War Maiden guide and, and spotlight of how I use her in a free-to-play account and how she can be used to farm both the Dungeons Arena and the Clan of Us. She's an SS tier rare and you should get her, especially if you're having trouble. Farm her, farm her from the campaign, max her out and you're not going to regret it. Uh, that's it from me guys. Cold Brew here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like down below. Comment. Uh, on what the next champion you will want me to review will be. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.